1971 Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded in Mint State 67 FS by PCGS. In numismatics, full steps refers to a grading criterion for Jefferson Nickels, specifically those minted from 1938 to the present. It signifies well-defined and complete steps on the Monticello building depicted on the reverse side of the coin. Coins with full steps are considered to be in better condition and often command a higher value among collectors, according to Ron Guth. The 1971 nickel is one of the first in a long time where full step versions become available in larger quantities. They are very affordable up through MS-66, then the price rises dramatically as the population drops off a cliff in MS-67. A total of $2,160 was realized from the sale of this superb gem. Number 6. 1951 S. Franklin Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 FBL. FBL standing for Full Bell Lines. According to Stax Bowers, the obverse is awash in color, with nearly 100% of the surfaces blanketed in color, with cranberry crimson and eggplant purple colors dominating. Splashes of neon green, tangerine orange, light purple, and magenta tones pop in a light when rotated in the light. The reverse is more mottled and the toning covers only a portion of the surface, mostly at the lower periphery. A tiny tick or two on the bell is all that keeps this coin from being tied for finest graded. It was sold for $4,080. Number 5. 1963 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1963 P. Lincoln Cent is very common in circulated condition all the way up to MS 63 grade. Many examples can still be easily found in circulation. For examples grading MS 64 and higher they usually come from rolls or mint sets. In MS-65 condition they are still easily available without paying any large premium and probably can be purchased raw for under $1. Probably no more than a dozen examples exist in MS-67 condition and there are probably no MS-68s or higher that exist. It was sold for $6,612.50. Number 4. 1945s Jefferson Nickel with Attractive Rainbow Toning. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. This vividly toned, multicolored ultra gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Both sides exhibit the most intense and attractive target-like toning that includes iridescent shades of reddish gold, champagne apricot, sea green and cobalt blue. The toning retreats a bit in the center of the reverse, where a circular area of silvery near brilliance is evident. A bit lightly struck in that same area, yet sharp elsewhere, lively satin luster and virtually perfect surface preservation further enhance the desirability of this breathtaking coin. It was sold for $6,900. Number 3. 1935 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. This satiny and vivid superb gem is bursting with lovely reddish-orange luster. Boldly, if not sharply struck throughout, and expectably smooth at the assigned grade level. It was sold for $12,650. Number 2. 1958 Proof Franklin Half Dollar. Graded as PR68 plus Deep Cameo by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Stax Bowers, a virtually perfect specimen, the surfaces are platinum white and entirely free of friction. The dense, satiny luster across the devices is contrasted dramatically by the bottomless and heavily mirrored fields. It represents the pinnacle of execution and preservation for the issue and will surely see considerable interest from advanced specialists. With only 875,652 proof half dollars struck, the 1958 is the lowest mintage issue from the second half of the series, which would eventually crescendo to a height of 3.21 million coins struck in 1962. Though common in most grades up through proof 67 deep cameo, it becomes very elusive at the proof 68 level. None have been certified finer at PCGS in the decam category. It was sold for $15,600. Number 1. 1964 D. Washington Quarter. Attractively toned specimen in Mint State 68. According to Legend Rare Coin Auctions, everything about this coin screams out to the viewer, its exceptional visual allure captivates the eye. Classic mint set hues blend on both pristine sides, its variegated colors amplified by a bold, radiating mint luster. Sunset orange, rich violet, emerald, olive green, and rose patina come to life while rotated in a light. Even with a strong glass, this coin looks essentially perfect with no marks or lines detected anywhere. 
It was sold for $27,025. There you have it, fellow collectors. I hope you enjoyed our exploration of these rare coins and gained some valuable insights. Don't forget to smash subscribe and like buttons. God's will, see you later.